So in today's video, we're gonna be going through some of the best gifts that you could buy a golf lover. Now, whether that be Christmas time, which is coming up very, very soon, or birthdays, there should be something here for you. I mean, golfers are the best type of people to buy a gift for. If you can convert any of your friends, any of your families into a golfer as well, you are gonna be sorted for the rest of your life. I mean, there's so many things you could buy them. Literally, the list is endless. And I'm gonna be giving you some of the very best from five pounds all the way to thousands of pounds, depending on how much you want to spend. Now, the best thing about golfers are they're hoarders. They love stash. They love personalized thing. Anything custom, they will absolutely love it. Also, anything that is even remotely sentimental. Basically, they just wanna show off to their friends and they want their friends to come over to their house and be like, Whoa, that's so cool, where did you get that? It's basically what golfers love to do. Anyway, let's get onto the gift guide. Okay, we're gonna go through stocking fillers. We're gonna work from the cheapest all the way to the most expensive. I'm gonna give you 13. I know it's unlucky for some, but that's just how many I thought of today. So we're gonna be doing 13 gifts that you can add into these little stocking fillers. Okay, first up, super simple, super easy, and also the cheapest on the list, a Sharpie, because you need it to mark your ball. You need it to draw your little flowers or your little dots. Weirdly. I use a purple Sharpie. That's my thing. Don't know why, it's just my thing. Next up, we've got something like this, a golf club cleaner. Now, I actually don't use one of these. I think I really should use one of these. But having one of these in your bag is super, super handy, easy to clean. And yeah, it's not very expensive, but probably something golfers don't have. Actually, thinking about it, you probably could do a little investigation into their golf bags before you start buying these gifts because they may or may not have some of them. And also another thing you can do is just kind of put it in passing and be like, wouldn't it be great if you could just like clean your golf clubs? And they'll either be like, yeah, I've seen some of those actually. Or they'll be like, I've actually got one already. And then you know, uh -uh, or you know, yeah, I can buy it for them. So you have these sneaky little conversations. I think it will really help. Okay, this one's pretty cool. Number three is golf grips. I've just changed the grips on my clubs. So I've got, I've got a yellow grip on my sunshine wedge. I've got a pink grip on my Mia B wedge and then I've got these like green squiggle grips on my irons and honestly I just think it looks so much cooler like I said golfers just love things that are unique to them and getting them like a bit more of an interesting grip is something I think they'd like but would never necessarily think about doing or would actually go out of their way to get so I mean it's good okay number four a golf glove Every golfer needs these. Every golfer will need to renew these. So this is actually something you could put in every single year. You know how every Christmas people will buy you socks or something. It could be like a tradition. Every year you get a few golf gloves. I say like, get them two, three, four, it's quite nice. And also they will use it throughout the year, especially during summer, I feel like golf gloves. Mine just get ruined really, really fast. I think it must be because it's so hot and they just rub a bit on the grips. But yeah, it's such an easy one. Now I would highly recommend finding out what size they are because you don't want to be getting them a golf glove in the wrong size. So a little snooping might be required. Number five, talking of socks. Socks are actually really, really useful, especially when it comes to golf. I've got some options here. Um, I actually wear ankle socks a lot just because I'm in the sun a lot and I'm trying to do damage limitation on my sock tan. It's not going very well. I still have feet as white as paper, but it's better than having it halfway up my shin, so that's the trade-off. Number six, now this one's a little bit more unique, but on Etsy you can find so many personalized things. And one thing that's super cool is a stamp. You know how I said you could get a marker pen at the start to basically mark your ball? Or you can actually buy stamps. So you can get them in lots of different patterns. You can even send them in like a certain pattern or their name or a logo or anything you want. And it comes with a bit of ink and all they do is like dip it in and then they can just stamp their balls. Number seven going down the personalized route still, personalized tees. I mean, you can get these anywhere from 20 pounds to 100 pounds, depending on how many tees you want to buy. But this is such, such a nice little touch. You could just do their last name. It could be like Baker or it could be like Mia, or you could be like their brand name, or even like certain things that they like to say. I mean, I saw one recently, it was like G-T-F-H. If you don't know what that means, I think you should know what that means. I mean, I got it first time. Get in the, you can finish off. Number eight, like I said, Etsy is the best place for personalized things, personalized ball marker. This one, it's kind of sentimental as well. You can get such beautiful ball markers. I had actually one made for me, which was like a, it was kind of like a mashup of the British flag and the Hong Kong flag. And it was put into a little ball marker and it was just so beautiful and I cherish it all the time. And 
I just think it's one of those things that every time they play, when they use it, they'll remember you and it's just, I, I really appreciate it. Number nine is a really lovely book. I mean, there's actually so many golf books that you could buy, but this one in particular is, it's a really great one. I think it's a book that most golfers will have heard of. It's by Harvey Pennick. It's got this beautiful red cover. It's like 30 pounds on Amazon. I swear it used to be cheaper, I don't know. Maybe it's just not as easily gettable. Is that even a word? Maybe if they've already got it, you can branch out and get them some different golf books. But I always think like a book is such a nice present to get at Christmas. And this is tiny, so it will fit in their stocking. And it's also nice if you like write a little note on the front of it as well. It'll be so thoughtful and they'll be like, oh, you're so thoughtful. Number 10, every golfer will love you for getting these. And I mean, it's one of those same as a golf club you can get every single year, golf balls. Now, I personally play with TP5Xs. They're a little bit harder, they go a little bit further, but potentially a little bit harder to control around the greens. TP5s, they're softer. Um, they probably don't go as far, but then around the greens are a little bit easier. I mean, there's so many different golf ball brands that you could obviously buy from. But if it's Christmas, maybe spend a little bit more money just because your average golfer may not actually want to spend that much money on a golf ball, especially if we're losing it all the time. Probably end up with like late ball, second hand balls, like just whatever they can find that doesn't break the bank. So if you can get them a box of like TV5Xs or whatever, they'll be like, oh my God, because they're so expensive. Right, number 11. This is kind of going to have to be a bit of a jam into the stocking, but personalized head covers or even just custom head covers any type of head cover that isn't the bog standard one that comes with your club so drivers or putters i mean you can find them all online i've got some examples here and yeah i think it's just super cool and super cute to basically have your own that's one thing i would say that most golfers when they go to the club and they drop their bags down people will notice their head covers it's kind of like a representation of your personality and your style. So people are like, oh, where did you get that head cover from? If it's you and you bought it for them as a present, they'll be telling their friend, oh, my mum bought it for me. Isn't she so kind? Number 12, the penultimate stocking fill idea. Now, this is kind of the same as the other one, but golf balls, but personalized golf balls. So you can get like custom made golf balls, which could have, for example, a photo of their face on it or you could have, I don't know, their logo on it. TaylorMade have actually started doing golf balls as well where you can have um, basically an emoji, like your, just your name, so you can have B-A-K-E-R, uh, numbers, for example. I think if you got that, that adds a little added element of um, thoughtfulness to your gift. I mean, it's only like three pound extra to get them personalized, so if you're getting it as a present, may as well just spend a little three pound extra and get extra brownie points. All right, 13, the last one on the list, and it's the last one because I actually just thought of it now, and I was like, oh my God, why did I not add that already? But an Apple AirTag. This is the best gift you could ever get someone, I swear down. Since I've had it in my golf bag for when I travel, you have no idea how much less anxiety I have when I get off that plane. I literally go on my phone immediately, and I'm like, where's my golf clubs? Are they in the airport that I've landed in, or are they still back home? Because Airplanes can be a bit temperamental at the moment. You know what I mean? And having an air tag just takes away all the anxiety. So when there's a guy at the airport saying, your bags aren't here, you can be like, yes, they are. Because golf clubs are expensive and you don't want to be losing them. So put a little air tag in there and it will honestly, it will honestly reduce the anxiety levels by twofold, threefold, fourfold, like the most amount of folds that you can ever think of. All right, now on to the bigger presents. I've come up with 18 of these. We're gonna run again through cheapest to most expensive. The ones at the end though, I swear down, are like every golfer's dream. If you could get these, they will literally die of happiness, but it will also probably break your bank a little bit, so. I hope you love them a lot. Number one, these are super simple. They're about £12.95 alignment sticks. They're so easy to like put in your bag. They help you with your golf game. It's just one of those things that is such a simple purchase, but maybe not everyone has them. And it does really benefit because one of the most important things about golf is setup. Number two, this one's again for their golf cave or whatever you want to call it. You can get obviously anything from £12 all the way to like £100. 
but a golf picture, a golf photo, either hand painted. You could do it of their favorite golf course, one that they've always wanted to play, or perhaps one that they did play and it's most memorable to them, or even their home club. You could even do that. And it's just such like a nice thoughtful gift, but also something that they could display on the wall as well. And every time they come home, they'll be like, oh, isn't that so lovely? Number three, probably one of the best golf purchases I have ever, ever, ever made. It has changed my life, but a tripod. Now these are somewhere between like 16, 17 pounds on Amazon. You basically wanna get one that is sturdy enough to withstand wind, because if it's windy, your tripod is gonna fall down, but also compact enough that you could actually put it in your golf bag. I swear down, like my whole career has been built with my tripod. Like he is literally my right hand man. He's been there through everything. He's been there from the start of my golf journey and he's, he's just been so wonderful. I have had to replace him. I've now had two tripods in the past four years, but I think that's pretty good effort for like 17 pounds, two tripods. Number four. Now this can range anywhere between like 20 pounds to 50 pounds, but also a really good one if you wanna keep some of the bric a brac off the tables. Um, keep things away, neatly stored, a golf display rack. Now, this is actually a really nice touch because most golfers will have golf balls from memorable places or when they got their first hole in ones. I've never had a hole in one, I really want a hole in one. Or if they've gone to certain clubs and they've bought one to bring home, they're probably just rolling around somewhere. Probably don't even know where they are, quite frankly. If you have a lovely golf ball display rack, then they can just put it in there, collect it over time. And it's just something that kind of, again, holds memory to them. Golfers are so sentimental. Number five, I think most golfers will appreciate this. Again, you can get this anywhere between 20 to, I don't even know anymore, 500, 600. I think they can go up to thousands of pounds, I have no idea. But around at a golf course that they've always wanted to play, whether that be in the same country, abroad or whatever. It's just one of those things whereby you as a golfer, are spending so much money on other stuff like golf equipment, etc. You can't really justify paying like a hundred or even 200 pounds on a round. It just feels like so much money for say four hours. So it's like a bit of like a special treat. You can even team up with partners of the people who are gonna go and play and then they all buy them around together and then they can all go and have their little full ball. Like that would actually be quite nice. Number six, a golf outfit. For some reason, golfers love outfits. So we're not just talking like a top. They want the full blown look. Now, as a female, I love, love, love this golf dress. It's the softest dress I swear on I've ever, ever worn. It like, I don't know, it just feels amazing. But obviously there's so many other women's clothing brands and so many other women's clothing that you could buy. Um, but personally, this is like a really easy one because it's just a dress and that is a whole outfit. Get some cool shoes and you're sorted. Number seven. Not that I'm like an organized freak, but I kind of am an organized freak. So anything that is like dual purpose, so not encouraging mess in a house, I am here for. And this will do just that. So a caddy den. You can get this for about 70 pounds embroidered and it is so good. You just put all your golf balls in there. It's neatly stored away. It looks really, really cute, really, really pretty. I've got one at home, mine's white with like a green band on it that says Mia Baker. And it's just, it's just so perfect. Number eight. If you don't want to buy a full golf outfit, then go for golf shoes because they are something everyone loves. They also kind of get a bit ruined, especially like if you're going out and playing in the winter all the time, they're going to get a bit tatty. For eight to five pounds, you can buy some Stan Smiths. They're my favorite golf shoe to wear. I wear them literally all the time. They're so good to travel with because you can't really take 20 pairs of golf shoes with you. So I just take them and they're kind of my golf shoes for everything. Plus they're waterproof. Winning. Also, depending on their style, maybe they like something a little bit smarter. The MC80s, they're about £140. So a bit more expensive, but they are super, super comfortable, actually. I thought they wouldn't be that comfortable just because the like look of them. But when I put them on, I was like, damn, these are pretty good. And then if you want to get them a more wintry pair, I would say the Code Chaos is really, really good too. So all of these are like men and women. So it doesn't really matter your gender, but they're all like really good golf shoes to buy. Number nine, this is probably the golf present I've heard be spoken about the most. So a new golf bag, like a stand bag, one that you can just bang on the ground, super, well it's not like super small, but it's small enough that you can easily carry, not too heavy, but also like 
not too tiny that you can't fit all of your golf clubs in. You might need to do a little bit of Googling on this one because there are so many up and coming golf bag brands out there. There's some really great quality ones. I mean, there's like Vessel, Jones, Sports Co do cool ones. Loads of like individual golf clothing brands have started to do them as well. Obviously I use TaylorMade, um, really love my black TaylorMade one. It's just gone through the wars and it's still here. Number 10, you can actually branch out and get them new golf clubs. Now I would actually recommend getting them something like a new wedge. So you can get these for about 150 pounds. I pay the MD4s, they recently came out. So they're kind of new. I wouldn't buy them a driver because a lot of new drivers come out in January and so you'd be basically having like a like a last year's driver super close to new ones coming out. So I would actually hold off if you were gonna buy a driver, do that maybe for their birthday in the following year maybe. If you wanted as well, you can even get like a full package set. So if the person you're buying for doesn't even play golf yet, you know, you can get package sets from I think like 300 pounds to like 800 pounds depending on brand, depending on quality. You probably need to do a little bit of research into exactly what's best, but I would say as like an athletic female, you probably don't need women's golf clubs. But if you're say buy for someone who perhaps doesn't have as like much strength and much muscle, and so their basically swing speed is gonna be slower, then maybe like women's golf clubs could be suited to them. It's basically about the shaft stiffness. Just if you bought like a quite an athletic female, women's clubs, they're gonna grow out of it in like a second and it will just kind of be a bit of a waste. I mean, it's a good memento, I guess, but they're probably better off suited to something a little bit sturdier. Yeah, if you can get them some golf clubs, I think they'll probably like, they'll probably die of happiness. Number 11, everyone will love, love, love this, but a club fitting. So you can get one of these for about 150 pounds, um, say somewhere like Scottsdale. Scottsdale are amazing at club fittings. You can literally get your clubs built there as well. So same day, you go up, you get your clubs fitted, you get them built, you go home. Mm, this is such a good present. I 100% think you should add it in. They will love you. You will get so many brownie points, I swear. Number 12, now this is pretty expensive, but it is the best golf purchase I have ever made. Like when I spend my money, I like to make sure that I'm spending on the right things. And this golf travel bag, has changed my life. I'm not even kidding you. It's got wheels on it, right? So it's not usually like a golf travel bag. It's just like a big long slug and it's so annoying to carry. Plus you've got your other bag and it's so heavy and I literally want to cry. And because I'm traveling all the time as well, that means I'm crying a lot because I can't pull this stupid golf bag. But these ones have wheels and I can literally pull it with my little finger. Every time I have it out and everyone's like, that golf bag is really cool. I'm like, literally try pulling it and I make them use their little finger and they can literally roll it so perfectly that they're like, whoa, that's really good. And every single person has bought one straight after it. Not even, a, don't even work with the brand, not even a saleswoman for it, but I swear it's changed my life. It's just the most convenient bag that I've ever, ever had. And I will never be regretful of the money I spent there. It was just, Fantastic, bye. Number 13, a range finder is something that I think is a must in your bag. I play with the Bushnell Tour V5 Shift, so a lot of players on tour will use a Bushnell. They're just really, really good, quite frankly. It's just what they all use as well. The V5 Shift basically has this like little button on it. I would show you, but my golf bag is not here. It's in the car. So if I was to buzz and scan, say a distance, it'll give me 75 yards and then it will take into account like the slope. So if it's higher, it's gonna say, wait, how does it work? If it's lower, it will say it's shorter and if it's higher, it will say it's slightly longer. Just an amazing addition to your golf game and it helps so much. I genuinely don't think I could play golf without my rangefinder to the extent whereby I could be doing a little tiny chip that's like 25 yards and I would kind of secretly use my rangefinder to scan it. Right, number 14. Now I really like this as a present because it is something that you'd put in your golf cave. You can get them for like 370 pounds now just because it's some of the ones from this year. But for example, Scottsdale are selling the Masters Tour Bag. It's a beautiful, beautiful green. I've got one at home. It literally stands out. I think, I think it might be my favorite tour bag. I have eight tour bags and I think it is my favorite one. It's just so beautiful. And if you were to get them something like that, something that they could be proud of, they can literally, again, trying to get like the clutter in the house down. 
can literally use it to store any clubs that they're not using rather than being left on the floor or whatever. And it just is, it's just a centerpiece. It's a sculpture. It's a stunning item that I think, I don't know any golfer who would be sad to get that. Number 15, a little bit more on the expensive side because I'm giving you one of the like top upper range versions of it, but a golf watch. So like 630 pounds, you can get a Garmin S70. That's actually what I've been wearing recently. How do I show you this? Is this what they do? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Someone's been gymming. I will do a full video eventually on this watch because I've only just started using it and I didn't really want to do a video on it if I don't really know how to use it or what the functionalities are or how to use them properly. This face is obviously a little bit big for my wrist but you can get smaller faces as well. I can't remember what the name of the smaller watch face is but yeah really really like it. You can obviously get other brands there's so many different golf watches out there but I know that Garmin S70 is known to be one of the best for golf. Number 16. This is an insane present. I mean, the price can range to God knows how much, but say 650 pounds to 22,000, maybe more pounds. Now I see this all over social media. I never used it, never tried it, but it's called Rapsado. I don't quite know how to pronounce it, but I have seen it all over social media at the moment, but it's basically like a small portable launch monitor that you can just take out into the range with you. Or you can go slightly more for like a GC3, which is like eight, 9,000 pounds. That's very expensive or really, really expensive. But like the pinnacle of launch monitors, the TrackMan. So that can be like 22,000 pounds. That's crazy. That's so expensive, but it is the best of the best. You see the tour players using it on the range. I mean, it's an investment into your golf. But also, if you're planning on getting a golf simulator at home, which I don't know if you will or won't, then it can easily be incorporated into that. So it could be dual functional. Number 17, the penultimate gift is a golf membership. I've heard of a few people be given golf memberships for their birthdays or for Christmas, and they have been so, so happy. Now, these can really range depending on where you are going to be getting the golf membership for. So we could be talking thousands. It depends how nice the golf club is, or it could be like a little local one that isn't too expensive, but it's just so convenient having a place that you can go and play golf throughout the year, especially if you want to practice, especially if you want to get better. Most of you guys will know that I play out of Fox Hills. So that for me is like the perfect club because it's not just golf but it's got two 18 holes, it's got a par three course, it's got a spa, it's got a gym, it's got paddle, it's got tennis, it's got everything I could possibly need. So when I go there, it's like my hub for everything. And that's why I love it. Not just because of the golf, but because of the whole package. And there's definitely clubs around the country that have the same thing. It all just depends on what you want or what the person you're buying the gift for wants, whether they just want the course, just want the range, or whether they want like a whole package. All right, number 18, the final gift on this gift guide. And a gift that I think is the coolest thing anyone could ever, ever, ever buy me. It is a golf cart. Now imagine being bought a golf cart. I think you'd have to check first whether you can store it at your local golf club, but this is so cool. I've looked up online, they range from anywhere to like 3,000 to 15, 20,000, because obviously you can build it yourself. It's literally like a car. And then you can brand it yourself as well. And it means every time that you go and play golf, you have your own cart. I think I went to Wentworth once and I was doing a shoot there. Someone had a Louis Vuitton golf cart, no word of a lie. It was her, her little puppy, and their little Louis golf cart driving around. It had a number plate and everything. It was like so legit that I was like, damn, she's made it in life. She's made it. I want to be her when I'm older. I mean, you obviously don't have to go that extravagant, but I'm just saying there are options to go that extravagant if you wanted to. But yeah, if you ask your local golf course if they would be happy for you to have a golf cart stored there, they might have some certain rules like, oh, if you're not using it, maybe someone else borrows it. I don't really know, but it's so cool. Like it's such a cool gift. I would absolutely love to get a golf cart. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I've given you a few ideas to buy your golf loving partner, friend, family member, colleague, anything in between. Um, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. And thank you so much for watching and I will catch up with you very, very soon.
拜。